Last, we're gonna go to the zoo and take lots and lots of pictures. <laughs> can we play gumball bingo? <laughs> we can play whatever you want. Sounds to me like her social calendar's filling up pretty fast. <laughs> we miss having her around. Where's Bridget? I left a message. She's probably just planning a coming home party for the two of you. <laughs> Did you hear that, Hope? You know what that means. Ice cream. <laughs> 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 well, Hope, looks like we're going to be missing you around here. You get to go home today. <laughs> I've reviewed all the tests, and you, young lady, get nothing but gold stars. Oh, that's wonderful. Right. Way to go, Hope. <laughs> I'll have you bring her in for a follow-up next week, but it's safe to say we're out of the woods. <sighs> Thank you, Doctor, so much. My pleasure. Can I go swimming, please? <laughs> Medically, there's no reason she can't. But I would like her wait until after the follow-up just to be on the safe side. You really want to go swimming, sweetheart? I'm not afraid. That's because you're the bravest little girl I know. Yes, that's right. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Hope. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, where's your? <laughs> oh my God, it might be about hope. One new message. Bridget, it's me. Hey. Well, the news is all good so far. We got uh, Thomas and the girls here now. Hope's having a good old time. I guess you know I spent the night at the hospital with your mom. Hope wouldn't let me go. She is really something. Uh, anyway, give us a call here when you get the message, okay? Love you. You're with her. You're with my mother. It's you and this little girl. Just you're everything to me. And I promise you, from this day until the day I die, I will make sure that nothing bad happens to you. I mean that with all my heart. Do this to me. You can do this to me. Bridget, I saw your car outside. What, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, it's my cat, and I thought I'd come up and spend some time. I mean, I had no idea that you and Nick would be here. If you had just called me, honey, I, I certainly wouldn't have driven up and interrupted your little romantic getaway. Nick isn't here. Well, what are you doing here? I don't really want to talk about it. Please, would you just go? From the looks of things, I thought you were leaving. Well, I'm not, and I really would like to be alone, so can you please leave? Bridget, clearly something is wrong. I don't think I should leave you here. Then I'll go. No, stop this. Has something happened between you and Nick?
goes by. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. It meant a lot to hold Thank you. Me. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. See you. He didn't, though, did he? No. Hey, before we go, I want to talk to you about something. Now, you may not remember everything that happened. When I got hurt? Yeah. Yeah, when you got hurt. You see, it's my fault that you had to come here. And I just want you to know how sorry I am. I know. Hope almost drowned and no one bothered. No one in the family bothered to call me. Do you blame them? Is she going to be all right? She'll be fine. Good. Now, why aren't you at the hospital with your mother? At a moment like this, your mother shouldn't be alone. She's not alone. As if you even give a damn. So Nick is with her, is that it? Yeah, Nick's with my mom. So what? She's forgiven him. Yeah. She forgave him. Even though the uh, little girl almost drowned. Why are you harping on this? I didn't think I was. Yeah, and, you know, and Nick feels responsible. Hope asked him to stay, and so he spent the night at the hospital. It's really not a big deal. And you spent the night here. So? And your fiancé and your mother. You don't need to go there. Honey, we both know <laughs> the history that your mother has with this man. What is it that you're not telling me? I'm telling you just to shut up. I'm not listening to you anymore. Not after what you've done with your phony heart attack. You're not manipulating us anymore, especially not me. Look, you can be as angry with me as you want to be. And what I've done is not important. What's important is that I love you. I care about you, and I know you better than you know yourself. Obviously, something is going on. Tell me what's wrong. You saw them at the hospital together. Something frightened you. What? Hope oh, nearly died. Yes? Oh, the possibility of that has brought out the truth about your mother and Nick. You don't know that. I know that he's still in love with her. Shut up! You didn't want to see it before, but you've seen it now, haven't you? I was looking through the window door. Then I saw my fiancé and my mother. And I just, I saw the way that they looked at each other and the way that he touched her. And he's never looked at me that way before. Hope was right there. They weren't doing anything improper. They just looked like a family. And I felt like the odd woman out. How else am I supposed to feel, though, when the man that I'm in love with is in love with my mother?